Spring came early in our garden this year. Look at this Cressula springtime with this gorgeous bouquet of star-like flowers. This plant has pale pink flowers but with red at the center giving it an overall bright pink color. The scented flowers attract bees and butterflies. Hello everyone, my name is Teresa of Chapstick and Succulents and in today's video, I'm going to show you the succulent plants that are currently blooming in our garden as well as some that bloom last spring. We have another Crassula that is also blooming right now. This usually blooms in summer and it's still winter here in California. This is Crassula capitella campfire with its long stalk of white flowers. Its flowers are not as gorgeous compared to Crassula springtime, but the plant's colorful and eye-catching succulent leaves can brighten up your garden. When this plant produces flowers, it loses its compactness and elongates with it. If you leave the flowers untrimmed, it will last for several weeks and then the flowers will turn brown but there's not much activity in the plant. But if you trim the flowers after they bloom, you'll encourage new growths like this one. The same with this Crassula perforata variegata or string of buttons. It does not have very attractive flowers as well, and it is best to trim them after blooming to encourage more growth. Succulents are flowering plants, but not all of them will flower each year. Some would take several years to flower, but when they bloom, the mother plant either die or lose its vitality. Our garden witnessed a lot of blooming succulents. Some of them stink, like this tapelia with rotten odor to attract pollinators. But some smells nice, like these daisy-like flowers of string of pearl that smells like cinnamon. Some flowers last more than a month, while some only a day. Succulent plants, when colorful, look like flowers, and they are a great addition to any garden. Do you know that the more you care for succulent plants, like your regular plants, the more you'll encounter problems? If you are new to succulents and you want to start it right, check out my free online course, Growing Succulents with Clarity and Confidence, Beginner's Guide to Growing Succulents. If you are learning from my short videos, you learn more from the 45 minutes of total video lessons I prepared for you. And yes, it is free. The link is in the description below. Whatever is blooming in your garden, be it succulent plants or non-succulent plants, take time to appreciate their beauty. We are often consumed by the noise and chaos around us 
that we often forget to stop and appreciate the beauty that is right in front of us. So, when you see your plant blooming, take a moment to appreciate it. That's all for now. Take care, everyone. Bye!